Welcome back to the simulation. Today we are going to be taming a rock golem. The only creature left to tame on Scorched Earth. And then, next episode we'll be fighting the Manticore. And then heading over to Aberration. So I hope you guys are excited for this. I'm just heading over to Blue Ob now. I found a 135. We're going to tame that. Just got everything we needed from base. And I will see you guys over there. Alright, so we're going to lead the golem down to the trap. Or it's just going to walk in the opposite direction. Hey man, I'm doing you a favor. After today... Whoa. You hit hard. One eight. Okay, this has got a good melee. Jeez, 338. I'm imprinted to this. This thing has insane melee. It's going to be really good to clone. Alright. Anyway, what I was saying is, after today, dude... This map is turning to aberration, because I plan on fighting that Manticore today, and beating it. So, I'm doing you a favor by taming you. If not, you'll just be deleted. Dude, what are you- Stubborn? Come on! I'm just gonna walk. Or not. Come on. There you go. I'll take some damage. This wyvern can take it. By the way, you like the new colors and the new stat. This is the finished product of the wyverns, by the way. I'll show them off in the next video. Come on. Ooh, imagine just walks into the water and I have to pick up the entire trap. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. So glad that doesn't hurt the player. Taking his precious time. He's actually got a cool color. He's like a, uh, he looks very plain. I think that's a black there in the middle. Not sure. He's definitely not an event one, but I like these. It's very scorched earth. You know? Alright. We're gonna make sure he doesn't hit that cannon. Dude, stop being difficult. Just walk in the trap. Come on. Alright, so we want him to turn. Now turn some more. Walk right in here. No, not around. Okay. Oh, I didn't make it tall enough. Okay, so we're just going to leave the wyvern really close here. Because these guys don't lose aggro. So you can just park your tame in front of them. Make sure it's on passive. And let it take the hits. Now we need to look this way, not that way. Alright, come on. Look this way. Oh my god, he's smart. No, turn. I don't think I bit the trap pro properly. It's supposed to go up one more. Yeah, well this is embarrassing. Anyway. Pretty sure I can just lead him in right here. Come on. Come on. No, oh, me. Yeah, he's very focused on that wyvern. Alright, we actually might be able to do this. Okay. So I have 18 cannonballs with me. There we go. Oh, that was that was horrible. So you want to shoot him in the head. That's the only way to deal Torpor. Kind of like a Titan. Alright, now wait for him to throw his rock again. I like to do two and then wait for him to throw his rock and then do it again. Just so you don't waste any cannonballs. By the way, the better way to tame these guys is with a mech with that uh, the cannon on the back. It's pretty interesting. Only takes three, I think.
We're getting, getting close to knocking out here. Oh, he's out. All right. By the way, you want to use kibble on these guys. Because even with my, like, fast food drain and stuff, it would still take, like, 30 minutes for this guy to tame with sulfur, which is the next best thing. And with rocks, it's just it's not happening. So if you're taming this, use kibble unless you've got, like, a few days to spare because they will literally take days on official to tame with anything but kibble. Oh, we must have heard him. Yeah, it's where we heard him that one time. That sucks. But we'll be taming plenty more of these over on other maps. Especially Genesis. He's a good golem. Decent melee. Not not the best health, but not bad either. I forgot a cryopod. But anyway, there's a drop in front of base, so instead of having to go all the way to the ob, just download it here. Also, that little symbol on the bottom right, I don't know what that is. It will not go away. It it popped up during a windstorm, and now it won't go away. I tried killing my character, I tried relogging, it just it's there forever. It's very annoying. But anyway, let's try out the rock golem. Just leave Tempest. Ah, yeah. Okay, so base stats, let's see how much damage you do. 362, that is really good. What about a rock throw? 450, not bad. Oh, look at all that. Oh, it can bleed me. Look at all that sand and stone. <laughs> Poor moth. Alright. Let's, uh, let's drop all this. 15 levels. Okay, so this one, I think I'm just going to make it like a farming one. Um, so we're going to level melee. Alright, see how much we get. Okay, 474 stone. So basically... Okay, it's really random, it seems. Again, these rocks are a bit weird. Try sand rock. 600. That can compete with my doehead. Again, my doehead isn't the best, but as you can see, these guys are actually pretty good for farming. I mean, not ideal, considering their size and nothing can really pick them. Besides, like, a skiff. So, they're interesting. They're more... They're better for PvP because they're really good at soaking, and they're actually good at defending themselves during. Oh, look at that damage. But yeah, I'm definitely going to have some fun with these, like, later on in the series, in, like, Extinction, when we have Element just pouring out. We'll be cloning all kinds of stuff. These are just fun to play around with. Like, I could sit here and throw rocks all day. And their weight's not bad. I mean, again, my weight on my server is boosted, but their weight's not bad. Every time I see that, I get frustrated because I think of the Phoenix. Okay. So these guys can gather stone, they can soak turrets if you're in PvP, and all around, they're an amazing tame. They're not hard to tame either, and with the kibble changes, kibble's easy to make. And, I mean, you can just mass tame these, especially with a mech. Oh, by the way, they eat stone. So, keep that in mind. And sulfur as well. Alright, now that we got a ton of little wyverns hatched, time to kill them all. Oh, I just realized I could use these as a sulfur farm. On maps, they don't have it. Alright, let's just crush this one with a rock. Oh, wow. Not even leveled that much and doing oh okay, this is gonna be insane. Thirty-one levels. All in the melee. Come on, six hundred. Oh, six hundred exactly. Alright. I could level it more, but honestly, that's pretty good. Let's go smash some stuff. I'm pretty sure there's a golem down here. 
Yes. Oh, be careful with these. These take insane fall damage. Considering, you know, they're rock. 1200. What? Oh, okay, that's gotta be mate boosted or something. But I was doing more to the wyverns. <laughs> Those reduce damage. 720. Alright, so this is a perfect example. When you run out of stamina on these, you can't do anything. You can't even hit. Which is crazy. I think they're like the only tame that's like that. Besides the Titan. But just look at the damage output here. Look how quickly I'm shredding this wild golem. But yeah, as you can see, if I try to hit, which you can hear me clicking, it doesn't do anything if you're out of stam. Which is very annoying. That's gotten me killed in some raids back when I did PvP. Okay, this is taking a lot longer than I expected. Ooh, I just thought, I'm gonna have to like clone some of these and fight the lava golem with rock golems. That'd be so cool. I don't think that'll work though, will it? Oh wow, that's actually pretty decent. Alright, well that is the rock golem. Uh, a lot shorter video than normal. But, I just wanted to show this off, because this was added in Scorched Earth, and it's still used today. It's really good, especially in PvP. And, they're just fun to use. Like, they're a really cool, unique tame, and I would like to see more variants of them on other maps. That is the Rock Golem. Thank you guys so much for watching. We now have all of these Scorched creatures tamed. I'm like 99% sure. I'll go back and check, but we've got them all now. So that just leaves the Alpha Manticore in the next video. I hope you guys watch that one. I'm really excited to face the Manticore and then ascend to Aberration.